like deserted. Empty ass airport. It's only 9 p.m. We just got dropped off, uh, dinner reservation, Italian food, Savio Volpe. So all of the restaurants, I pretty much, Nicholas Rothel, he gave me a list and I just kind of cherry picked and reserved the restaurants that I thought looked good. So here's our first one, first night in Vancouver. We just got out of the dinner reservation. I mean, shit, the carpaccio, the octopus carpaccio is phenomenal. Agnolati, they filled it with pork and chicken, so that was really good. My biggest critique was that some of the food was a little too salty for my liking, especially the broccolini and the potatoes. Welcome to the Vancouver Airbnb. So right here is uh, where all the magic happens. This is where we sleep. There's a pillar to divide and break up the space. We have an island, bridge, a little dining table, couch, TV, and then a bit of a view. It's a bit gloomy today, 65s. Some things I packed. Slight. Mm. Times two. Times two. Here's the restroom. Bathtub. Shower. And then this mirror here. What's up? I'm gonna finish this roll. It's at 30 shots. This one's at... 28. I brought some extra film. I'm gonna get some nice shots on this trip. Just an outfit breakdown before we head out. Here is a JWA strawberry tea that my lady got me. The Stussy. And then uh, Rick Burks, Burke Owens. My helmet duffel, my helmet leather jacket, and then my Samsung camcorder. I know it's still very early. We've only been here for less than a day, but if I were to compare Montreal, Toronto, and Vancouver, the city's not looking too hot right now. Very interesting and not the good interesting either. We're uh, heading to get some coffee and uh, a light breakfast. Ah, shit, this is an interesting city. Oh, by the way, like, when you, when you buy like a pass for the train, there's like zone one, two, and three. I don't really understand. So we've just been doing like tap to pay with like our cards. One day I'm gonna be able to make bread like this. We just ordered our food and uh, we're waiting for a table. So sitting outside, just ate some shortbread. This place looks really promising though. Wow, look at that bread. The butter, cheese, jam. I ordered a bone broth because health. Here's the ham and cheese. This is your salmon, right? Yeah, smoked salmon. Side salad. 
All you need is good bread. Wow. <laughs> wow. What is it doing? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. get up! Folks on a different planet right now. Cute! I just uh, <clears throat> charged my phone at the Airbnb, changed into the pleats and my Weedy derbies. We're gonna go to the Susie store and then we're going to the Richmond night market. So, got the camcorder and I put a fresh roll of film because it's gonna look sick. Asian food, I'm starving. I haven't eaten since that meal earlier. It's supposed to rain, so we're gonna try to find an umbrella too. Yeah, let's go. We're staying right next to Chinatown. This is Portland and Seattle all over again. The streets smell like straight piss. Mmm. It is really bad. Huh? I like the pinstripes, how wide they are. Little F logo embroidery. I didn't get anything, but the lady got some new kicks. Picked up some water and a bag of chips that I want to try. It's like 7.05, they just closed, but we got them to open the gate and sell us two umbrellas. Because we're going to the Richmond Night Market and it's going to rain, so I'm not trying to be uh, drenched. <laughs> Told you, spoke too soon, it's already raining. We haven't headed out yet to the night market. I need to try these chips and just uh, put something in the tank. These are just sea salt and pepper, but I've never seen this bag. And these are made in Canada. Mmm, they taste closer to like salt and vinegar than they do like just salt and pepper. Chips themselves taste a little different. Mmm. One thing I'll say is that these are not overly salty. 
which I definitely appreciate. Okay, now we're headed to the night market, waiting for the Uber if this guy ever fucking arrives. noodles sauce me a chili oil cold you gotta eat hot food that's a wrap for the uh, Richmond night market I'm gonna rate it a 8.5 pretty fun a little overpriced everything is like ten dollars or more i don't know who decided that but and it's cash only which is somewhat of a big inconvenience <laughs> my lady got me this rose at the night market yesterday and i put it in this 1.5 liter bottle this is going to serve as a vase Right now we're gonna go get some coffee. I guess today will be like our shopping day. So we're gonna do a bunch of shopping. There's this warehouse sale. I, I guess I came on the right weekend because there's a warehouse sale going on at Haven. And Haven, they carry, in my opinion, a good selection of brands. You guys are gonna see a familiar face. Let's get to it, let's go. We're going with a different pair of Guidis today. Helmet, 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 Guidi. Here's the shoe rotation so far. Okay, this place is called Revolver Coffee. Ice Americano? Mm. Wow, this actually looks like a really good cookie. Double chocolate, yeah? What is this one? What did you get here? Every single thing. Oh, it's like an oat. Yeah. Oat. So I got the tasting flight. This is uh, fill in something Honduras. And then this is the. I forget. Complements the milk really well. Whoa. This one is really sharp and has a lot of bite. I think I like this one more. Double chocolate tastes like a brownie. So where are we going? We're going to the Haven Warehouse sale. What's the forecast for this uh Warehouse sale. Uh, I think it's gonna be a mixed bag. Mixed bag. Maybe some hidden gems. Yeah. So, you think there's gonna be a lot of people? Yeah, it's gonna be packed. Yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, shit. At least that's what the other. That's what the neighbor grown gray warehouses are. Like. Have you ever ran into people that are like, oh, I watch your videos. Yeah, all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Here? Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. It's gonna be cool. Oh, 
Where are we going? <laughs> Point six down to eight hundred. I used to have this one actually. Really? What is black. this called? It's their exploder puffer. Uh, so you see here the hood kind of like expands out like this. So I just hold mine when all the rich prices went up. It's a nice color. Yeah, it's nice cool. color. I think it's dust. Yeah, yeah, it's dust. That's really sick. What do you rate this uh, warehouse sale? Uh, it'd be like Haven. It's pretty good. Just, Everything's eighty percent off. Yeah, the deal is good. Yeah. The deal is good, but it's all. So, I just don't need anything right now. Like, yeah. I have enough all the pants. I got enough black pants. So for yeah. example, right, this jacket, it looks okay. The colors yeah. came and everything. But then they throw on these little like tags. Yeah. I think it's like that. Yeah. 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 That was abysmal. the blazer to my bottoms so I could have like the whole suit. Is there a one size fits all? Yeah. We're at this restaurant called the Beppe. Just gonna grab a quick lunch and then we'll continue the shopping. I like my so much. He inspired my style like nobody else. Oh you go right into those then you can apply at lunch and you're just doing like takeout, they do different pizza. Oh, like really? they have like some, it's basically like almost like Detroit or like grandma style pizza and they'll yeah. like reheat it. And you just like grab and go pretty quick. This is my first time having an anchovy on pizza too. And that's really good. It's melon. It's valid. Mm. This one's really airy. I never had this one before. Yeah. Is that why you ordered it? This one has a better crust on the bottom. Mm -hmm. than that one. This one's a little wet. Mm. Wow, they put a lot of fennel on this. Mm. I think the anchovy is so for sake. What drives you to like continue making videos on YouTube? What is definitely the people? What do you find fulfilling? Like I've especially recently I've been meeting a lot yeah. of people through it, like you yeah. obviously. Yeah. Uh, Jason who we were hanging out with today. Yeah. Like, I noticed met. a lot of people like recognize like you like everywhere we went. Like someone like, oh yeah, that's Nick. Yeah, I mean, this is like the, the fashion area, right? Uh, so like if okay. I go somewhere else, yeah. I'm not gonna know anybody, but okay, okay. definitely like just the people, the connections. Um, I just like sharing my interests for stuff too. Nice. So, is it okay but, to ask you to share one of your one of your five year goals? Oh, totally. Yeah, yeah I yeah. definitely want to eventually be like totally self sufficient, work yeah. for myself. Yeah. That's the big one. Yeah. Um, Eventually, probably buy an apartment or house. Yeah. As well. this is, again, these are all very realistic. Yeah. I mean, well, the market price they're, sounds really crazy here in Vancouver. They're realistic, yeah. but they're going to be like something you have to actively like work towards. Yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. why I feel like they're good. Goals. It's not going like, to be like a cakewalk. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. that's kind of where I'm at right now. Like, I just want to look more long term. Okay. So I've reached like a lot of my more like short term goals. Yeah. Which I'm pretty happy with, but I don't know. Just like do stuff that sets me up for the long term better. Here's a more fun, lighthearted question. Who is your favorite designer at the moment? It can be fashion or like home goods, furniture, whatever. Anything fashion, that's- Fashion, I got a bunch. Yeah. Le Mer. Le Mer. Sure. Le Mer's really caught your eye recently. Uh, not a designer, but brand. I was like yeah. our legacy. Yeah, our legacy, okay. Prada. Prada. Coleman Ray. Coleman Ray, I, I feel you like, you like the Coleman Ray. Yeah, so. 
I mean, today I'm wearing full Yoji. Yeah. So Yoji for sure. For sure. Um, yeah, those are actually those are my favorite. I want to get back in the helmet though. Ah, uh, helmet, helmet. Yeah. yeah. And then last question: Which pizza? This one or that one? Uh, well, this is my go-to. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was a little wet today. So yeah, a little I wet. Think, uh, like the fennel sausage one is getting me there. Yeah. So we're going with fennel today. Yeah. Respects. Respects. Yo, Nick, where, where are we going right now? We're going to like, Hamoy, the vintage spot. Yeah, it's appointment only, right? Yeah. Well, it's not really like appointment, but there's no buzzer, and there's ah. no address, and there's no website. And so it's like number. some, it's really exclusive then. So you just kind of got to know, and he's moved like twice in the last yeah. month. So. It's pretty decent though. He's about to move again, but I think he's still ah. here. Lots of Levi's, lots of military. Yeah. What's he saying? The taste lives here at KFC. Yeah. It's a 70s single stitch. It's a real banger. It's only 152. So. Not bad. <laughs> Jeans fit, fit really good, especially with the clocks. Yeah, and I, my other jeans are too big because I lost a bit of weight, so it's got like a 36, 40 inch waist. Are these Russell? Is this a Russell or what is it? It's Hanes? Yeah, these are Russell. Yeah, it fits good. Yeah. It's good. Try this jam. Helmet Lang. XS. Actually, this doesn't look like Archive. Turn. I think it looks. I think it looks pretty good. These are the two tees I picked out. Personnel department is a 10. Work with the best or go bust with the rest. Here's the first tee. I think it fits pretty good. Might snag it. There's the second tee. This one fits even better. Yeah. I fuck with it. Nick. Yes. Yeah. That's good. Copy. Yeah, I cop those two tees. Yeah, let's get out of here. We just said bye to Nick. First time meeting him in real life. Again, it's always great to meet your internet friends in real life in 3D. Heading back to the Airbnb to recharge. We're back out. Gonna get some wine before our dinner reservation at this place called Juice Bar. Yeah, we're Okay, we just got here at Juice Bar. Um, I ordered a couple glasses of wine, ordered two tacos just to try their pastor, and yeah, just pre dinner vibes, pre gaming the dinner. Cheers! This looks promising, the pineapple, the... Yeah. Oh, add a little bit of sauce to this. This is spicy. Oh, I'm gonna add mine. You don't need it. Cheers. Yummy? Mm -hmm. I don't know what this was, but this was like a $60 bottle. Our finest selection. Add some air to that. Brilliant on the nose. This one's really fruity. I understand why you like it. Mm. We're walking to our dinner reservation. I kid you not, I just walked through like five or six blocks of just homelessness. This has got to be the most grim shit I've ever seen in my life. It's looking like motherfucking Skid Row out here. And I think what's even more fucked up is that we're going to this restaurant, Kisa Tanto, and it's like supposedly one of the hardest reservations to book. The disparity between the rich and the poor is just unacceptable, man. There's just no, no other word for it. Oh, this is a 
menu. So we just ordered the omakase. Um, so it's a gradient, 120 to 175, and it's very customizable. So we picked the price point at 175, or no, 120 to 250. So we picked 175, somewhere in between. So we're gonna get a couple specialty items. We told them some foods that we aren't so interested in. So this is just gonna be a very curated experience. And again, this is like a really hard restaurant to book, supposedly. So we're gonna make the most out of it. Quick little bathroom break. The decor here, it's giving Carbone. I do enjoy it a lot. Very thoughtful and it fits the Italian uh, theme. It's, this is a Japanese Italian restaurant, so very nice. I like that they're all in uniform. It's very cool experience so far. You can't really see this, but this is what we're working with. Look at that. What does the sauce taste like? It's like nothing. No, well, never mind. Wow, look how hot this is. Give me a little more. This green pasta looks really nice. They brought six different pickles, and you asked for like one. Daikon, soy, and yuzu. Think we're gonna mix that up. Have this like a little dipping sauce. And we have the contorni, summer vegetable contorni. We have some nasturtium leaves, English peas. We have some butter braised endive, and some heirloom uh, cherry tomatoes. In a I don't know. It's what's the damage? Wow. Thank you. No problem. Very, very cute card. That was a really, really good dinner. Four, Thanks like again. Like 4.20 after uh -huh. tip. <coughs> well, highly recommend. Highly recommend. Get the omakase when you pull up here. If you can. Oh, what is that smell? Holy shit. Look at the wine glasses our Airbnb host left for us. This is perfect. Pretty. This glass of wine's been chilled at the restaurant while we were eating, so it's ready to go. All right, I just wanted to chat a little bit about the dinner um, because I didn't really talk too much at the physical dinner. So with tax and tip, it ended up being like $422, which is pretty steep, but I'm not gonna lie, the experience was really great. I went in having low expectations because I feel like the Instagram didn't give me a lot of insight. I was just riding the whole like, this is a hard reservation to book. I'm sure that's true. We got there and it was, very upscale people were dressed like just dressed up for that place heels and like dresses and you could tell like it was like a place that you know you you might take take your partner to for like a special occasion we had oysters with caviar we had a5 wagyu we had scallop from hokkaido we had proper pasta that fried fish was, that was pretty crazy too. Just all in all, really good omakase, very customizable. They were responsive to us. We asked for some pickles and they brought like six different pickles. Like service was top tier. I think worth every, every penny. And again, if you can make sure, you know, to book a, a reservation. I think I booked mine three weeks out, which isn't too bad. Some places I've had to book even further out than that. 
definitely if you come to Vancouver, that's a restaurant you want to stop by. Like, that is insane experience. Good morning. We are going to the Chinese Garden, which is like a three minute walk from our Airbnb. It looks like something similar to where I've gone in uh, Portland. <laughs> Welcome to the Chinese Garden. <coughs> I'm Jen, I'm your tour guide. So to my left, I have um... Can't wait for this film to develop. This is honestly the perfect weather for this today. The garden's a lot smaller than the one in Portland. And the water's a little cloudy too, a little murky. It's still cute. Still cute. Mm. All right, back at the Airbnb. I'm gonna change before <laughs> change before going to get some hot pot in Richmond, because that's where all the better Chinese restaurants seem to be. And then we'll figure out something to do after that. Maybe walk off all those calories. Another Tesla. This is one of the 24 hour spots that serve good food. It's kind of empty, you know? What is this? Is this for like inside? No, geo duck. Beef tongue. Beef trip and the mushroom. Thank you. Tiger shrimp. Ready? He gave me this to like put into the white broth. What is that? Uh, pork and I think chicken. I don't know. Yeah, the ingredients are really fresh. <laughs> and the tripe. This is a wagyu, <coughs> wagyu shortbread. This is the beef tongue. Should be pretty hot with shabu shabu. Like right, right here, that's good. That's good. This is the sauce I need. Mean. Mm. Beef tongue. They just refilled our broth. Huh? I thought there was too little broth before. Mm -hmm. Now it's like perfect amount. Try it. Oh shit! Don't tilt. Don't tilt. Just use the straw. Mm -hmm. Look at that. It's just right. This place is pretty pricey, but since we came during happy hour, we got a 20% off. You think it's too much? For hmm? three days? Bacari, water, these are sugar free, this is just green tea, Coke Zero, come on. It's easy, I finished it all today. Here's our fridge situation, green tea, Coke Zero, this bottle of wine. We're about to get into um, our lift. Tonight is technically my birthday dinner, so we're doing omakase sushi because gotta get my sushi fix. And the ladies pay in. <laughs> Here we are.
that concludes tonight's dinner. And that was magnificent. It's left speechless. Just a very proper birthday dinner. And it's not even my birthday until tomorrow. So another dinner reservation tomorrow. Here's the final damage. This Picari looks really refreshing. Mmm. That's the plum flavor. Mm. And I don't think they ever made that one. Like they have here's grape, lemon, muscat. And this is plum. Plum. Mm. Try it. Open so I'm it. I'm gonna try it. Wow. This is, it smells good. It smells like plum. It smells like plum. It doesn't yeah. smell so like artificial. So heart shape. <gasps> Half Red? Yellow? What is that? How is it? Interesting. The grape tastes very... Good. Yeah? Mm. Try it, baby. Let's give it a taste test. The plum. This is that friends and family pack. Is that Vancouver exclusive? Mmm. I think they need to refine the recipe because I haven't eaten anything today because it's like 9.30 in the morning. This tastes a little like medicine. I told you. Mm. It tastes a little like medicine. Mm. Let me eat a grape one just to kind of remind myself what they actually do. Grape is better, right? They got this on lock. This one. Back to the drawing board, they need to refine this shit a little bit more. The right idea for execution. <sighs> Doesn't this look crazy refreshing? Advertisement? Mm. We are waiting for an Uber. This one's picking up my cake. Um, <laughs> she wanted to go by herself, but I just don't feel like that safe here especially with the amount of like beggars and whatnot i said i'd tag along and i just won't look because she wants to keep it a surprise the cake because it's a cus customized cake right mm. Mm. that's the cake so this lady she just makes it out of her house ah i see what does that say Let's get it. Mm, looks good. Are these macarons? Mm. Yeah, but she broke them into pieces. So she just gifted this to you because yeah. you bought the cake? Yeah. Uh. It's a cereal box. Alright, a few bumps in the road, some hiccups, but we are heading back out. It's 2 p.m. right now. This elevator smells like shit. But uh, <clears throat> we're gonna get some coffee. There's two more coffee shops that are on my itinerary that we haven't hit yet. And then we're gonna walk the seawall and see if we can squeeze something else in. Picture? Avocado toast looks crazy. Here's mine. I kept it simple. Bodega Sando. Uh, simple. Ooh. Do you want to try? Want to? Mm. A lot of bread. It's really big. Mm. It's still running. <laughs> Some very proper coffee and a, a nice light early lunch, late breakfast. Ah, uh, it's not even that early, 2 p.m. This is Van the Otter. <laughs> Here's the current view. Today is my birthday and this is the whole reason why I came to Vancouver was to just celebrate my birthday. I think now that I'm getting older, every year for my birthday I really just want to be in another city. 
somewhere, wherever that is. 25 now, it feels very surreal. It feels like I was just 21 in Tokyo, living my best life. Now I'm 25, halfway through my 20s. Yeah, at this age, uh, in the grand scheme of things, it's still really young, but I feel pretty old and I don't really care for going out or partying or clubbing with friends to celebrate my birthdays. It's really just about being with like family and like loved ones. So just really taking it easy, chilling, having good food, good company. It's what it's about. That's pretty cool. And then you got raspberry? No, grapefruit. Grapefruit. Is it Seawall? No, no, we're right here. Seawall's up there. And then Stanley Park is up there. We just uh, finished our little walk. Oh, for an hour. It's an hour, okay, our hour walk. And now we're gonna get another cup of coffee. There's a neighborhood here called Little Ginza, and I guess it's supposed to be like Ginza Tokyo, but nothing reminiscent of Ginza Tokyo anymore from what I um, looked up. We're going to the Haven store right now. We went to the warehouse, which is a which was a complete and utter disappointment. But forgot to go to the store. No food or drinks. We just came out of the Haven store. There wasn't really anything there. The Toronto store is much bigger, much cooler, I think. It's funny that the uh, sales associate, he, he goes, uh, were you at Salvio Volpe, which was like that restaurant on Thursday? He's like, I was sitting right next to you guys. I was at the table right next to you. And I'm like, how the fuck? Like, I had to think back, like, were we, were we there? Thursday feels like so long ago. All right, monumental moment. First time trying these ketchup chips. I hear it's like the thing here in Canada. This was the last bag on the shelf, so it must be doing something right. What do you think? It just looks like a flaming hot lay. Mmm, not really tasting ketchup so far. Okay, they're pretty sweet. A little tangy. They're okay, they're fine. I wouldn't break my back trying to get a bag of these. Yeah, they're whatever. We're about to head out to dinner. It's just like a five minute walk, literally like three blocks away. I just wanted to give a shout out to the lady. She got me these for my birthday. I'm gonna wear them for dinner tonight. All white outfit, right? And then now I have some white shoes to accompany them. And I've wanted these for so long because you guys already know I wear my black gats all the time. They're so comfortable, they're so wearable. Now I have the white pair. Wow, these are beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Getting spoiled out here. Getting spoiled with good food and great gifts and just great company. Gonna lace them up, put them on the toe, and get going. <laughs> Bar. Just laced them up. Wow, these are a real beauty. Ace gift. Something that I'm gonna wear for years to come, just like my black pair. Gorgeous, look at that. Margella, I'm stepping on ya. for happy birthday, it's one of my favorite snacks. Oh, Ooh, thank you. Uh, yeah. yeah, these are beef ten and chicharron. So Ooh. very light, very crispy, with a lively citrus spice over top as well. Uh, for something traditional for pickle, uh, house with cucumber. Uh, for something with a touch of spice, daikon and scallion kimchi. Oh, kimchi. And then uh, this one is gonna be uh, shaved daikon. Uh, that is some, some ume, some plum, some plum pickle daikon. Thank, thank you. you. These are like flaming hot chicharron. Uh, it's got aromatics of sesame, texture of celery, and a cool ingredient that is known as yuzu kosho. Yeah, what do you think? This is interesting. Huh? I've never seen that kind of like stuff. Yeah. 
we're back at the Airbnb. We had to cut dinner short, but I had them kind of carry out the uh, dessert. Here's that dessert. I'm actually eager to see what dessert was. Cake. Yeah, so it looks like strawberries and chocolate. Chocolate cake with strawberries, I'm, I'm guessing. All right, here goes nothing. Mm. You know what I'll say about pigeon? It's not Kisatanto. It's not sushi by shoe. It was good, but I don't think it was amazing. And I think that reflects on why their omakase or like their tasting menu is only 85 because I don't think they're serving you anything spectacular. It's just a like a nice meal, but nothing like over the top extravagant. It's good food, reasonably priced, I think. Ambiance was great. I really like the ambiance, open kitchen, dimly lit. No. Oh. Sengil chukahamida. Sengil chukahamida. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that was smooth. So basically, you're eating the stars. Mm. Ooh, is this ice cream cake? Kind of. So here's my birthday cake, the big reveal. Produced in 1997, cause you know I'm a helmet fiend. And then this was uh, like the constellation for like Virgo. Oh, it's definitely matcha, but I think we have some ice cream action going on here. Very thick right here. Mm. Mmm, that's really good. It doesn't taste like heavy, it's like very like, like airy and... Mmm, I'm gonna eat all of it, baby. We're going to the last coffee shop on my itinerary. It's Prototype Coffee. This is a little on the outside of Chinatown. We got a tasting room. I ordered a flight for coffee, so I'm gonna be jumping off the wall. Bouncing. A, B, C, D. We're going up the stairs. A, B, C, D. A, blackberry, white wine, pineapple, almond. Next, raspberry jam, vanilla, cherry juice. Next, candied orange, jasmine, watermelon, ginger. This might be your favorite. Passion fruit, blackberry, honeydew, orange. I like this one a lot. Try a little bit. How is it? Yeah, you said you don't like it? Is it sour? I like this more. We just finished coffee. We're gonna walk to this store called Leisure Center. On second thought, we're gonna lift over there because it's too sunny. We just got out of the lift. I feel like every lift call, there's an icebreaker because my profile picture is like this painting of um, Chairman Mao that Andy Warhol did. And I took a picture of it and made it my like profile picture. So they're always like, is that Chairman Mao? Nick says that there's like 20 workers here and nobody's ever in the store. So I bought four of these, uh, they look like this 
and they're uh, like a mystery box, bare brick. This is the one you got, right? Mm. Mine is, I put it back away. It was Cobra Kai. I didn't film in there because the sign says like no filming, so I didn't want to be that guy. But the store is huge. It's like Dover Street in there. And they carry a lot of brands. A lot of things are on sale. And yeah, it's just a really sick space. This customer service is really great. Nick was telling me about this place. He says that there's like 20 workers in there, but no one's ever shopping. It's kind of true, right? Mm. It's just us in there. And then like, maybe not yeah, 20, too. like 10 workers maybe. This broth is interesting. That's fine. Finish that broth. Look at all the Review time. Broth was not to my liking. The flavors weren't deep. They might have cheated on tonkatsu, or I think it's a chicken broth actually. Noodles, that wasn't the right noodles because they didn't cling onto the broth well. And then uh, the tamago was overcooked, so not not the best experience. Third trip to Di Pepe for some coffee. Or wine. Yo! It's third trip to Deep Pet Bay, man, in five days. Oh. Cheers, bruh. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, yeah, cheers. I'm gonna get my mom a bottle of wine, the OG. Gotta get rid of the Canadian cash. Two dollars, right? I think so. We're at Vancouver International Airport, just chilling, two hours to kill. We didn't really vlog at Luigi's because it was like loud and the space was tight, but my ragu pasta was proper. Um, a lot of things looked proper. However, the, what was it? It was like a mushroom pasta with truffle. Yeah. Yeah, it was really salty. So salty to the point where we left like half the, the portion and told the person like we don't want it and that it's salty when they offered like a carryout box and then she just didn't charge us for it because we didn't find it satisfactory which I think that is like a really good gesture yeah, that wraps up the Vancouver vlog I don't know if I'll ever come back here I really have no reason to revisit this is one of those like one and done places like similar to Denver Denver is one and done Miami is one and done New Orleans one and done. Boston, one and done. Yeah.